We've written data to our table and read the data back, but what if we want to actually modify the data that's already there? Certain vehicle properties will likely not change, so a scooter made by Spitfire will always be made by Spitfire, and it will have a specific serial number. But other properties may change over time. During maintenance, we may decide to paint a vehicle to make it look better. There's no guarantee that we'll paint it the same color as it was originally. Over time, aspects of the vehicle can change and we may want to capture those in the description. A note indicating the vehicle is scratched may need to be added after a collision, or we may need to remove the note after a paint job. These changes can be implemented using an update statement, and so next what we're going to do is we're going to try to write a very simple update statement to make a few of those changes. Okay, so over in our code window, we're going to open the update.sql, and here we're going to write a very simple update statement. Uh, now the table that we want to update is our usual mover vehicles dot vehicles. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to actually set the fields that are going to be changing. And what do we know that's going to change? Well, we know we want to set the color. So the new color is going to be equal to blue. And then we also know that uh, there's now an alien painted on the bottom. So we're going to update the description and that's going to equal alien painted on the bottom. Now I'd recommend just copy and pasting this uh, straight out of the instructions. That way you're not going to get any mistakes. Now on that note, um, anytime we can avoid making mistakes by accidentally typing something incorrectly, we should. Now if you note, the ID that we are updating uh, is actually the same ID that we used back in our select one statement. So it's this ID here. Now, rather than actually manually typing the where clause, I'm actually just gonna copy and paste the whole where clause from here over to here. The reason that I wanna do that is because again, I want to avoid making any mistakes. And I know that this uh, has already been tested, this where clause has already been tested in a select statement, and I know that it returns the value that I expect. What I wanna avoid is a situation where, for example, I might accidentally enter the wrong ID, or maybe I write the where clause in an incorrect fashion, um, and as a result, I end up selecting uh, more rows than I expect and updating more rows than I expect. Because I've already tested this, and I already know it only selects one record and it selects the correct record, I can go ahead and just copy and paste it. Uh, if you did want to do this manually in a production database, I would recommend testing your where clause somewhere before actually executing it. So testing it on a select statement, um, just to make sure that you're not gonna accidentally update records that you didn't expect. Uh, but I know this is safe, so let's go ahead and save that. Um, and then we'll just execute our tests to make sure that everything works the way we expect. So I'm just executing my tests and with a little luck, everything should come up green. So it looks like everything worked um, and we now have the correct statement. So the next thing that I need to do is I need to just very quickly uh, execute that update statement in the actual database. So let's go ahead and do that. And then uh, the final thing that I can do is I can actually rerun my select statement uh, and just verify that in fact, uh, it is now a blue skateboard and it has an alien painted on the bottom. So it looks like that update was successful.